Hi, I'm Elise here on the Cosbound Workshop, and today I'm going to get started on Astrid's Axe from How to Train Your Dragon 3. Today, in the first of our four weapon build series, I'm going to show you how to pattern, cut, adhere, and sand your weapon. So the first thing we're going to do with any weapon is find a suitable printout. So my height is about 5'5", five five, so I just took what I thought was relative for Astrid and I printed that out. And then I taped the whole thing together, cut it out, and then I compared it to my own height. That way I could see if I liked the sizing or not. Then I transferred the top of my axe to some construction paper. That way I could have a nice sturdy cutout in order to trace it onto my foam. For this axe, I used two sheets of insulation foam that gave it the proper size that I was looking for and made it so that I could fit my handle inside. We take our construction paper pattern, trace it on one side of our foam, flip it, trace it on the other side. That way we know that our axe head is perfectly symmetrical. Now all that's left to do is to cut out our foam pieces. Personally, I prefer to use a box cutter because you can break off the blades to give you a nice fresh one. You can adjust the length of your blade easily and the blade is super flexible and allows you to go around curves. Now once we've cut all the way through our foam, we just have to break our X head out. Be super careful when doing this because you can break the foam very easily. Now that I cut out my first X head pattern, I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna follow the same steps that way I don't break it or mess anything up. So now I'm gonna measure out the space for the handle and then hollow it with our Dremel so it can fit inside. When using a Dremel, be safe and make sure you use a shield. To stick the two pieces together, we're going to use Cosbond Attach and Build, which is perfect because unlike other adhesives, there's no dry time and this adhesive will give it a super strong hold. For this step, we're going to trace one side of our foam onto the Cosbond and then flip it and trace for the other side. Once we have our two sides traced, we just cut them out, peel, and stick. We do this until the entire surface of the foam is covered in Cosbond. Now I'm gonna use some hot glue and glue in our wood handle. I used hot glue to stick the handle in because it could fill up any of the uneven spaces. Now all we have to do is peel the release paper side of the Cosbond and get ready to stick our other half. Once your axe head is pressed firmly together, grab a permanent marker and draw where you want the sharp side of your blade to be. Now that that's drawn, we're gonna start carving out the foam for our blade. So the carving is going to be pretty messy, so you're going to want to sand down any of the carving that was bumpy. I use a bell sander because it's quick and hands-free. 
On the final stage of sanding, I'm gonna take my sanding block and wrap it with a super fine grit sandpaper to make the blade extra smooth. Now that the X head is sanded smooth, in the next video we can begin to add battle damage and apply our war block. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.